to do what you can. What's up, what it do, Sabawa? It is your girl, the one, the only, Ash Said It, Ash Said It.com, Ash Said It.com, baby babies. It is a Thursday, it is a Thursday, and I got some more to say. I've been very talkative today, as y'all can see. I got a lot of things I want to get off of my chest. Why? Because people continue to try you, girl, and I don't fully know why. I don't understand why exactly, but, um, yeah, people continue to try me, but, um, I just continue to just to be me and to just do what I do. But what I get sometimes, and it's so funny, because at first I used to get really offended because I had a whole bunch of people that would come at me sideways and say stuff like, oh, well, why you got to sound all educated with your words? Why you got to use such big terms? Well, I am educated. I'm not going to be embarrassed or I'm not going to dumb myself down just so you can feel better about your life that wouldn't be me if I was to do that I wouldn't be me I wouldn't be as original as I am I wouldn't be who I am and whose I am so it's just comical now when people come at me and they say that foolishness like people still come to me y'all and are like why you got to sound all college educated? Just use layman's terms. Well, what does that even mean? I don't know about your upbringing and your background, but my mama, Don Teresa, she didn't play that stuff with us. She didn't, she didn't play that stuff with us. She taught us that when we talk and when we speak to someone, we look them dead in their face, and we pronounce all of our words, and we project, and we enunciate, and we pronounce our words properly. Slang, that's what you use with your friends. You want to use slang and cut off and be rude and curse and all that stuff? Fine, do it with your friends. You don't bring it up in the household. And that's what I was brought up with. Now, not to say like, okay, if I'm hanging with my peoples or whatever, yeah, we're going to use probably very vulgar language and we're going to make crazy references and stuff and we're going to do all kinds of fun stuff because, you know, you're hanging with your people. You can let your hair down, you can chill out, you cannot be as on, on guard, so to speak, with how you present yourself. Now, AshSaidIt.com is my baby. That is my child. That is that is everything that I have inside of me is Ash Said It. And every time I present my child anywhere on any platform, it is going to be the best of the best. That's the best. I'm not going to. I'm not going to subject myself or any of what I do. I'm not going to uh, downplay who I am. I'm not going to do any of that stuff because I am who I am. She created a beast of a person. And it's crazy funny because it's like I'm still discovering myself day by day. Every time it's something new, it's something else. It's just like, wow, I didn't even know. I didn't even know that was in me. Wow, as you done surprised the heck out of your doggone self. <laughs> you done surprised the heck up out of me. So, to those out there that think that I'm too professional and I'm too college educated, I would have to say, go and get you a degree, okay? Go and get you a, you would, go and get you your degree. You want me to say that? Is that dumb down enough for you? Go and get you your degree. You worry about me. Go and get your degree. Worried about the wrong doggone thing. Worried about the wrong doggone thing. And it's just, like I said, if I wasn't so grounded in who I am and who I'm becoming, who I'm going to be, then that stuff would really bother me. But I just look at it as funny as heck because what people have to say when they say those negative things, that has nothing to do with me and everything to do with themselves. Maybe they didn't finish school. Maybe they didn't have the opportunities that I had. Maybe life threw them a curveball. I don't know what the case is, but you shouldn't try to put down other people because they may have been brought up differently than you. That's not the way to be. 
God ain't happy with that. <laughs> Jesus ain't smiling down at that. That's not the way that it's supposed to be. We're supposed to love one another and appreciate one another and accept each other's differences. But when people say stuff like that, it's just, it's funny to me because you're saying way more about yourself than you are about me. Way, way more about yourself. Way. I mean, I am college educated. I went to Columbus State University in Columbus, GA, where I got my Bachelor's of Art in Communications. And it was Communications as a Human Science. And it had absolutely nothing to do with media, radio, telecommunications, nothing. It was just strictly human science. So I had to make lemonade out of those peaches that I was given because I didn't know how I was going to make it work out. I did not know. So my degree doesn't define me, but it is very much a part of who I am today. And I wouldn't be as nearly the person that I am had it not been for that degree. So that degree, I applaud because as difficult as it was for me to to get that degree, as difficult as it was for me to attain it, as difficult as it was for me not to quit, I'm very thankful that I went through those trials and tribulations during school because it absolutely positively has influenced the person that I am today and I'm thankful for that and I celebrate that and I continue to just be me point blank period we're always going to have something to say oh okay, woo. this person that person and this one got this to say that one got that to say you know what go about your business please sir ma'am about your business because it's just ridiculous to me that there are so many people overly concerned about everyone else and not worried enough about what's going on in their own place. Oh, I'm talking to somebody right now. Oh, Breezy talking to somebody. I am. I'm speaking to someone right now. Someone that's listening to my voice is a hater. Someone that's listening to me right now is trying to figure out ways of discrediting Breezy. Oh, I got a discredit ass set it. She ain't nothing. She ain't do it. I can do that. That's simple. Well, why aren't you doing it? That's the thing about it. It's like you have all these criticisms. Like somebody told me that, oh, well, you on iTunes. That ain't nothing I can get on iTunes. Well, why don't you get on iTunes then? And you can join the rest of us and, and get your money right. And get your mind right. And get your promotions right. But if it's so easy to do, you doing it? That's the bigger question. And it just, I just smile. I just smile about it. Because people always want to downplay what you're doing or downplay you. Why? Because they've got insecurities in themselves. Maybe they don't want to see you live out that dream or that purpose because they never lived out into theirs. And if you live out to your dream, OMG, that means that they totally could have lived out their dream. Except they were lazy, or they were scared, or they lived in fear, or they let someone else talk them out of it. And now they're ashamed. Now they're ashamed. So, I just say to that, it is funny as heck that the people with the most criticisms are the ones with no credit to their name. <laughs> it's crazy. You got all of these criticisms for people. You say all this mad stuff. Oh, ashes this, ashes that, ashes blah, blah, blah. But what do you have going on though? Ashes on iHeartRadio, ashes on iTunes, ashes on Google Play, ashes on Stitcher, ashes on TuneIn. But what do you have going on? Oh, that's right. Nothing. So before, before you want to point the finger and, and laugh and, and poke fun and, and tell jokes, maybe if you live in a glass house, you shouldn't toss a stone at anyone. You should never 
are tossed out, actually. If you live in a glass house, you should never lift your finger to toss anything at anyone. Never. You should never do it. Just keep your ass quiet. Just, just, just shut it up. <laughs> shut it up. It's crazy. But as I've grown into my adulthood, I've learned to just let things go. I don't get angry anymore. I don't retaliate. I'm not going to confront people. I'm not going to do any of that stuff. I'm going to continue living my purpose. And you're going to continue not living yours. That's how it's going to be. Now, I'm talking to all of my people, all my listeners that I appreciate and love so very much. If I'm living my purpose, you need to be living yours. You need to be doing something to get yourself where you need to go. You know where you need to go. You know it in your heart and soul. It's been on your spirit for years. It's been on your mind for some time. It's been on that back burner. All right, you you left it on the back burner for God only knows how long. You've got to push forward, even if it's just small steps. It's not to be big, ginormous. I'm not saying, oh, I want you to move to Stone Mountain to the West Village. I'm not saying that, but you need to be making steps. <clears throat> you need to be making steps because time goes so fast, so very fast. Like my godson is getting ready to be seven years old. O M G. Like, I remember when he was in my friend's belly. I was like, oh my gosh, you know, and this little person is grown up now, and he's got an opinion about stuff, <laughs> and it's just been a phenomenal time just watching him in amazement. It's been amazing just to watch him grow and to watch his personality features to come out, and, um, it's just been amazing. It's been truly amazing. And I just say that to say, time waits for no one. You never know what's gonna happen tomorrow or the day after, or next week, or hell, you're gonna see it into next year. So you've got to live for today. You've got to make it count. You've gotta make all of it count. You've gotta make all of it count. So that's my little TNB for today. Yeah, babies. That's my little tidbit for the day. I just want to say that I love you guys. Thank you so much for supporting me. The UK, Australia, Germany's tuned to Ash said it. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's just a great, it's a great look. Ash said it.com, Ash said it.com. That's the website. Now go check it, check it, check it out. Check it out, check it out. And anyone to tell you that you can't do what you want to do, you try to look them in the face and say, don't believe me, just watch. Just watch. And yes, I'm going to still use my college terms because educational, uh, problematic, uh, eccentric, those are not college words. If you really look up, those are like SAT words that you should have learned in like mm, 10th grade. But I digress. Not everyone was fortunate enough to finish high school. It is what it is. I love y'all to pieces. Keep doing what you do. I'm going to keep my educated behind doing stuff that I want to do when I need to do it, how I need to do it. Yeah. <laughs> well, I love Ash across social media. Shout out to Juice Bar. I love JuiceBar.com. I love JuiceBar.com. I just stopped by the Swanee store and I got me some Cocoa Pro. I got some Cocoa Pro, which is like basically a coconut a sweet young coconut that is blended with a whole bunch of probiotics and yummy goodness and it's just i just love coconut anyway so i'm a big fan of coconut anyways but i love coconut and this drink is now my new favorite i just i love coconut anyway that you can incorporate coconut into stuff i'm i'm down i'm game i'm with it i'm with it son yeah <laughs> I am with it, so I'm loving this Cocoa Pro. So next time I go back, 
I will have to get me some more cocoa foam because it was just really good. I enjoyed it tremendously. I did, yes, yes, I loved it, I loved it. So, that's pretty much the story. And uh, follow I Love Juice Bar across social media platforms. Go to ilovejuicebar.com to find the closest juice bar location for you because juice bar is taking over. It's everywhere, and that's what it is. So, I love y'all. Holla back at you later. Deuces.